Okay, welcome back. We're in module eight talking about financial independence. Now lesson six is going to be something totally unique, something totally built by us through us. It's called the middle class millionaire plan. And remember if I told you earlier that we wanted to make a grave impact on the middle class. We wanted to do something of greatness. It's 145 million people strong between the middle class and mass affluent. And we want to make sure that we can dig deep and really help those people because they're not achieving any help. They're not getting what they deserve because the services that are available in the industries is not leaking down or dripping down or trickling down as they would like to say because it's not in their best interest. There's not enough compensation in their mind for them to go and serve this marketplace. Believe me, this marketplace has incredible opportunity. There's incredible ability to help people in that marketplace become financially independent and thereby make yourself financially independent by helping them. It's a true partnership. So the components to the middle class millionaire plan are life insurance. We're not going to get into a deep dive on life insurance, but life insurance is a massive tool. It's one of the greatest tools out there in a the financial arena. There is so much about life insurance that people don't know. It means so much more than just simply dying and replacing your income and all those other aspects. As important as those are, as, as valuable as those are, there are so many other things that life insurance means. We're going to talk to you briefly about what's called the infinite banking concept. The infinite banking concept was created by Nelson Nash. We're going to show you how to use a life insurance contract to create literally millions of dollars in your own bank. We're going to show you how to generate the entrepreneurial income that you would put into that life insurance policy and the way to really fast forward that. So it's all about your direct income, your residual income, and your passive income flows. Now as I said earlier, Nelson Nash created the infinite banking plan. He did this uh, probably, Nelson Nash is about 88 years old right now, still with us, and he probably did this 50, 55 years ago when he started this. Now, he got to the point where he understood the value. And by the way, he is so magnificent with a life insurance policy, he knows things that the home office people and the entire insurance industry has never even considered. So he talks in terms about how to use a life insurance policy to become your own banker, create your own bank. Now, if you remember back in the module, we talked about the Federal Reserve, we talked about how the bank works, we talked about all those things in financing. But basically, you can take over that role yourself. Now, if you opened your own bank and you went and bought a charter and you went to do all of the regulatory issues in having your own bank, it would cost you literally hundreds of thousands of dollars. And not beyond that, you'd need millions of dollars just to be active reserves and protect the regulatory issues. But through a life insurance contract, you can create your own banking system, which you use to finance everything for yourself. It provides tax-free income. It provides tax-free financing, and the beautiful thing is you pay yourself interest. Remember we said there's only two things you can do with interest, right? You're either going to pay interest or earn interest. Well, this is another world. This is a third option. You're going to pay yourself interest. It's a beautiful thing because you're the bank. You're going to be your own bank. Okay. So life insurance is the vehicle, okay? Now, basically, the way this gets built is it normally takes, and we don't have all the slides. I'm not going to show you all of the numbers, but through our conversations and through our direct contacts, we're going to be able to distinguish and show you for you individually. But we're just going to talk about it conceptually right now. Let's talk about the big picture of it. Life insurance is the vehicle, and because dividend paying whole life insurance has an aspect in it to where dividends are not taxable and people will tell you it's a bad deal whole life insurance is a monster it's terrible it's the worst thing in the world you could get okay if you listen to the radio show hosts and you listen to the magazine writers and all these people they don't know what they don't know honestly I don't hold it against them but they just don't know what they don't know so they are telling you things that are just not true because they don't know the greatest financial vehicle in our society is a life insurance policy, but most people don't know how to use one. 
Okay, life insurance has been around since before the Civil War. Do you know that companies like Metropolitan Life actually paid claims on Civil War veterans? So it's been around a long time. But the concept of dividend paying whole life insurance is nothing new. It survived all kinds of catastrophes, economic catastrophes. It's gotten through every bad cycle of the stock market. It's gotten through every drop in the economy. It's gotten through several world wars. It's always been there. It's still there. In that time, how many banks have failed? You can make a massive list in a toilet tissue roll and still need five more rolls to list all the banks who failed in that same time frame. The insurance companies are the backbone of the society. They really are because life insurance has been a magnificent vehicle. So basically, in building this so that you can build up enough dividends and enough cash value into your policy so that you can start to activate loans and finance yourself, we would start you out with a term insurance policy to back that up because that protects your insurability. Because you don't have the accumulated income to really build that bank yet. Most people in this industry are going to come to you and say, hey, hey, Bob, I tell you what, you put 300 a month in, you put 500 a month in, you put 700 a month in this policy, Bob, and guess what's going to happen? you are going to be able to basically pay all your debts and you're going to have this magnificent thing going for you. It's not going to work. I promise you right now. But the way that game works is that you're not going to figure out it didn't work for 20, 25 years. At that point in time, the agent who probably sold you that policy is long gone and you've got nobody to go hold accountable for that. So that's not really the way it works. If you're going to use this kind of vehicle, you need to be putting in a thousand two thousand dollars a month now people say Carl get real buddy where am I gonna get a thousand or two thousand dollars a month well this is where we're gonna show you how to earn income it's entrepreneurial it's service oriented it's referral based it's all based on a training that we do called the referral of a lifetime which is based on a simple rule of 250 by 250 which means that you know 250 people but guess what? They're not the most important people. They know 250 people. That gives you a huge pool of people. At the lowest end with crossovers, it's about 25,000 people. Those are your acres of diamonds. I bet you've never even considered that. But you can turn those 25,000 people in your acres of diamonds into income. We can show you immediately how to establish $1,000, $2,000 a month, but that income needs to go into your vehicle because you want to produce a million dollar plus bank. This is how you can create a fast start on financial independence. Now, it's all going to be in a new book that I got coming out called The Middle Class Millionaire Plan, which will explain it more in depth. But this is going to be truly a new paradigm of financial planning. This is going to be something that we are truly, truly working very hard to bring to the middle class and the mass affluent. So it really is going to help you define and grow three types of income. We talked about the direct income, we talked about the residual income, the passive income, and guess what? Your bank is going to be a resource for all three of those incomes, all through your bank. And this is going to be a powerful change in the middle class. Believe me when I tell you, we're going to make a massive difference and we want a massive difference for the middle class we want them to reach the 5% and become financially independent. I'll see you in the next lesson.